Hi everyone, my name is Emily Davis and this is Dr. Karen Patterson. We're working together on a technology transfer workshop that's happening in November and we've decided to do this little vlog for you to give you a bit more information and to get you a bit excited about possibly putting an application in. Um, so maybe we should start with what is the technology transfer workshop because uh, it's probably a term that people have heard before but maybe don't know how, uh, how it applies in this particular situation. Um, Karen, do you want to... Sure. Explain what it is. Absolutely. So when most people think of technology, they think perhaps of a widget. So we, we like widgets and we're after widgets as well. However, what we'd really like is to look at the outcomes of research and the important outcomes of research because it's all valuable. So technology in this sense may be a program or a service that you have developed as part of your research which can be used for the public good. So that's the sort of thing we're really after in this workshop. But if you have a widget, please bring that along as well. <laughs> cool. <laughs> cool. So you might have guessed that we're basically um, trying to find PhD students who are at the end of their candidature, early career researchers, mid-career researchers who have got a great problem that they solve, almost like a, a real world problem that their research addresses. Um, and what we want to try and do in this workshop is take that real world, real, real world problem that they're addressing with their research and transferring that into something that can be tangibly applied um, in a range of different market yeah. settings, That's government right. settings, not-for-profit settings. Um, so just a bit more, the actual workshop itself is a week-long intensive. Um, and some of the outcomes that we're hoping to do is to get people to articulate the business potential in their research. So if you've been very hard at work in your lab or in your office doing research, often you won't even have time to think about how you might do this because you're so busy trying to solve this big problem. Um, so what we've done is we've created this intensive workshop with the, the aim of giving you the skills and experience with mm. mentoring to help you articulate the business potential in your research. Um, some of the speakers that we've got, Karen, I don't know if you want to let us know um, sure, some yeah, of the great speakers who we've got and presenters. So we have, the first day we've got Gary Morgan, um, and Gary is currently working on um, one of the big CRCs that vendors are, are currently bidding for. He's an entrepreneur for over 20 years, he's helped people develop the potential in their business, so now he's applying those skills to research. So day one is all about looking at your research project, it's not a textbook example, it's, it's your research, and where might that potential lie? Who would be interested? Who are the potential collaborators that you can you know, shape this project? And I must say, like, each day what we're doing, we're taking your research project, giving you some information, which you then apply to your research project, and each day this package gets bigger and bigger and bigger, until the end of that week, you present to a panel of experts, but most importantly, one of those panel of experts is Mr. David Addis, who is one of the senior representatives of the National Australia Bank, who are interested in impact investment, research impact investment, particularly for the public good and looking at ethical research um, for their investors. This is actually the biggest selling point of the mm. technology transfer workshop that we're running. Most of the time when you do a skill development course in commercialisation or entrepreneurship, you're not going to have a captive audience who has access to investment funds at the end who's going to see you pitch your project that's been pushed through legal, patents, business model canvassing, uh, presentation skills, networking skills. So he's going to watch all the way through, but at the end he's also looking for projects that have that potential. Um, to then translate into social impact investment. Social impact research. So, yeah, this this workshop really is quite unique in that sense. Totally, and it's not a, it's not a fluff <laughs> and bubble, you know, three minute, five minute pitch, and we give you a million dollars. Because in reality, that doesn't happen. You really have to articulate and know um, that not only the potential of your research, but how it can, how it can be used. So that that is the beauty of this. I think. Yeah. And the other thing that I that I really like to add about this is look. Those skills, even if your project isn't immediately scooped up for some sort of investment, perhaps it just needs a little more nurturing, and that is what we're keen to do, is to take you further mm -hmm. and work with you after the workshop, perhaps, in taking that research a little bit further and putting it, you know, so it's a really tight project, so yep. it is ready at some point, hopefully in the near future, for someone to pick it up and, and invest in your research. Yeah. You see the way everything is moving as well, like if you read any of the literature and you see the way the universities are changing, the way that they source funding for research, this, this is kind of ahead of the game a little bit in that sense, by making those industry connections yeah. and with government and not-for-profits, so this is, this is really important. The other thing is, you kind of touched on it before, we want 
to encourage people in life sciences, in STEM, uh, in health, yeah. but we also want to encourage social scientists, people in Absolutely. education, humanities, Absolutely. people who have um, programs, people in, in chemistry who have got a methodology that solves an environmental, yeah. environmental. problem. Yeah. We, we want people not to kind of pigeonhole themselves as a researcher who possibly doesn't have something valuable to give in that area. We want you to really think about whether you solve an environmental, societal, um, or a health solve. problem, and that's really the start of this incubator, isn't it? It it's is. Having that, right. having that kind of real-world solution. So if you're sitting in your office in social sciences and you think, is that for me? It probably is for you if you've listened this far in. So people need to go to our website, which is the Technology Transfer Workshop. Just type it into the Flinders Google yeah. and it will come up with all of the application details. Um, applications close on... Uh, close on Monday the 6th, so be quick. <laughs> <laughs> But if you've got a really burning idea, we might possibly entertain it. The best thing to do is give us a call give if a you're call. thinking about putting out call. Yep. So at the bottom of this blog, we'll have all the details that you can um, contact us via. Um, the Tech Transfer Workshop runs from the 20th to the 24th of November at our beautiful, brand spanking new Tomsley Tom site. Mm -hmm. So it's very close to home. And did we say it's free? It's absolutely that's and what we were free. saying for the end. Oh, that's, were we? Yeah, that's the, that's the best part. It's, it's free. It's totally free. And we have a lovely dinner for the first night for all our participants. Again, free. Yeah. Um, so it's, it's an enabler. We want you to come along. We want to develop your research. Yeah. So we can't wait to see your applications. Have a fabulous day.